Welcome back. The Houston Food Bank working to get people ready in case they need to self-quarantine because of the coronavirus. Joining us this morning with more on their efforts is Brian Green, president and CEO of the Houston Food Bank. Brian, thank you for joining us this morning. No, thank you for I'm having sure us. you guys have been super busy and we appreciate um, your contributions to helping so many people. So let's tell folks, though, you are in need now with volunteers. Yeah, the number one thing we need right now is volunteers. Houston Food Bank, we have the largest volunteer core not just in the city, but in, no food bank in the country remotely is able to do as much as we do because of the volunteer support. Mm -hmm. So we can say yes to all these donations and the work that has to go into them. We've really taken a hit, um, and so we're modifying our procedures. We won't be having the 800 volunteer days uh, for the coming weeks. Uh, but we still need hundreds of volunteers, a couple hundred at, at a time, mm -hmm. so that we can continue to process the food, get it ready for distribution to, into the community. And if, if folks are interested in volunteering, they can go to the website, they can call, they can show up? Yeah, the best way to do it is to go on the website and register. Um, we're, we're very busy right now now as, as you can probably guess and so you can and you do that 24 hours a day and we run shifts um, every day of the week um, three three shifts into the evenings on Monday through Friday and then two shifts on Saturday and a shift on Sundays okay houstonfoodbank.org yes houstonfoodbank.org so uh, tell us about these quarantine kits because no requests just yet but you are ready and 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 willing to put these together for folks well, we actually have, um, we've got like, I think 2,000 of them, and then we'll be at 3,000 uh, by the end of today. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's not a, something where somebody from the public could say, hey, I, I, I need you to provide me with food that way delivered. Um, we're trying to do all our, our distributions through um, low contact uh, arrangements with our partners and then other organizations are, are stepping up. This is if the health department has instructed them to stay home. A doctor has, and it's verified with the health department, they have a case. The health department would give them a nine-digit code and, our, and the phone number to use specifically for this purpose. They call us. We will then arrange for that to be delivered to their household. Okay. okay. This has been a trying time for, for lots of folks, especially folks who uh, may be low income, have harder access to food you guys have been there what is your message for for everybody in Houston I mean well I could say one thing for like, on the groceries it's gonna be fine uh, the reality is we're not here to try and replace the grocery stores because the groceries run the only reason why that's running out is people trying to stock up we're not all gonna eat twice as much food the supply chains are fully intact the grocers are gonna be getting more supplies every day it'll all work out it's not like the hand sanitizer where <laughs> they're trying to use 20 times as much we're not gonna eat twice as much food that's all gonna be fine we just need to make sure that we're taking care of those people who don't have the resources especially now where you're having so many hours being cut back, right. tips and, and all that. And so as a way to, to help out your neighbors, now's the time. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. HoustonFoodBank.org if you are interested, or you can call the number there on your screen. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can find all this info and a replay of the segment online at clicktohouston.com. We'll post it under the video tab on our homepage after the show. We'll be right back.